Paint the picture. It's a cold and windy day. The electricity has been out for months. All the supermarkets have been closed. All you have is a large amount of unknown meat that your parents have accumulated over the past years. The meat in question, your brothers and sisters. All jokes aside, behaviors such as this are prevalent in many insect species. Under harsh environmental conditions, predation, and the ever-changing world, many insects will employ mechanisms to maximize their chance of survival. This includes choosing which offspring to take care of and how to take care of them to ensure continuity and sustainability of the species. Nest guarding is a major part of insect parental care when predators pose a threat to their nest. First, the most commonly seen type of nest guarding is blocking the entrance using their abdomens. This can be seen within the males of the Serotina species, more commonly known as the small carpenter bee. Adult females also help guard the nest against predators. In the nest of the C. clabia, adult females assemble by the outermost cell or plug the cell wall when they are unable to guard them. Studies have shown that the absence of guarding females directly correlates to high mortality rates of offspring. Honeybee workers can also form hot bee balls to roast predators that get too close. Their slightly higher temperature tolerance gives them the ability to overheat predators and roast them alive. When harsh or unfavorable environmental conditions arise, specialized parental behavior is often required to ensure offspring survival. For example, the staphylinid beetles live in intertidal marshes and create burrows that are prone to daily flooding. To stop the flooding of nests and drowning of eggs, mother beetles will block entrances during high tide and reopen them during low tide. Who should be in charge of taking care of the brood? In the insect world, there are three types of parental care, female, male, and co-parenting. Co-parenting can be seen in dung beetles. Females and males work together to roll their dung balls to warmer or colder areas to ensure the most possible offspring. Once they choose a location, the female lays her eggs in the smelly dung in hopes of her offspring to start the whole cycle all over again. Smelly dung as your first meal, I'll pass. In water bugs, the males are carefully selected and responsible for ensuring safety of the offspring. The eggs are laid on their back and are guarded. Females will usually mate with males that show this caring behavior. As seen, insects' parental care and behaviors are specialized to the needs of each species. This can be influenced by predators, environmental conditions, food sources, food supply, etc. Not only is this oftentimes necessary for the survival of the offspring, but for future generations as well. Thanks to these resilient creatures, we're able to enjoy the hundreds and thousands of different foods, vegetables, and other products that they aid in the production of.